Hey plant friends! So today I wanted to unbox these two packages with you guys. Um, if you had seen my orchid collection video, um, I had mentioned that I was expecting some orchids to come in the mail. This is the first one of them to arrive. Um, one is still in transit and another one just shipped yesterday or they had just printed the shipping label or something. So it probably won't be here until the weekend or maybe next week. Um, so this is the first orchid and I already know this is the variegated one. And then this one right here is actually not an orchid, if you couldn't tell from the packaging already. Um, these are some cuttings of um, a Ripsalis paradoxa. So let's go unbox those two together. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Ripsalis. I honestly didn't even know um, about this um, succulent before. I mean, I knew about um, Ripsalis, um, the uh, Ripsalis variety of succulents, but I never really got into them until I was watching um, a video a couple of nights, a couple nights ago, about um, some succulents, and I had seen the Ripsalis. And I thought it looked really cool, so I had to go look for one. And I found a shop on Etsy that was selling um, some cuttings of them. Hold on a second, let me open this box. Okay. So these are just cuttings, they're not rooted or anything. And I believe there are six of them in here. This is the first time um, ordering from this shop, so. I'm not really sure what to expect, but it did get good reviews, so we'll see. So I like that it has instructions on which end is the um, which end you should put in um, your medium, and which end is the top. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to that, and it's just in some floof. Okay, these cuttings look really healthy. Three. Oh, he gave me an extra one. So there's seven of them in here. I know I only ordered six because it was either three or six. And he did mark, did you see that arrow? He did mark which end is supposed to be up. So these are the tops. So I like that. So aside from the instructions, he has them marked which I think is kind of funny to write on a plant like that, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to harm the plant. So I'm definitely going to be planting this tonight. I'm not sure yet. Um, I might do it in pond or like, I don't know if I'll do it in Lekka, but um, probably more pond because um, when I'm trying to root something more cacti-like, I think they do better in pond. So those are my Ripsalis Paradoxa cuttings. Okay, and up next is the orchid, and here you can see where it's from. Ritter um, Orchids is the name on Etsy. They did get good reviews too. Um, it's one of the few shops that um, I found has the variegated orchids for a decent price. Well, he only had one kind of variegated orchid, and it was just a Phalaenopsis. I'm not sure if there are actually any other varieties of orchids that come variegated, so... There's just a bunch of newspaper in here. Sorry, my dogs keep knocking into the tripod, and so the camera gets all shaky. Just a bunch of shredded paper to protect the orchid. Oh my gosh, I can already see how healthy the roots are. This is so exciting. Oh wow. Okay. This is so cool. You guys see? Look at these leaves. And they're so healthy. They're really firm. 
and these roots are amazing. Look at how plump and green they are. Although this one I can tell will probably come off, which eh, should be okay. I'll just leave it there for now, or I can cut it, I'm not sure. But that's the um, orchid, the Phalaenopsis chia and lin variegated. And then look at this. I'm not sure if that's just like sun stress or if it grows like that, but that's really cool that it has that um, reddish, pinkish tint on the edge. And it's just these two top orchids. So maybe the younger leaves, since these are the top ones, I'm thinking maybe they come out kind of like more pinkish and then they just turn into more variegated, like a yellowish overall. I'm very happy with this. And look, it even has a new root growing right there. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a root or a flower spike, but that would be really amazing if that was a spike growing right there. I really hope it's a spike. <laughs> All right, you guys. So those are the two orchids for now. And I'll probably add on when I do get the other two orchids. Well, there are going to be five more orchids coming. One should be in one package altogether because I did get a bundle of four. And then um, one is the, um, it's just a single one. So I'm not sure when those are going to come. But I'll add on to this video when those ones come in. Hey, plant friends. Um, I have another unboxing, an orchid un unboxing um, today. Um, so this is the, like I mentioned in the other unboxing, this is going to be the um, mystery four pack of orchids that I ordered from Etsy. And it actually arrived yesterday, um, but I didn't get it until I was leaving for work. So I just got home from work, so I'm just going to unbox it right now. Um, so I'm not sure what's in it, as like I said, it's a mystery, um, but the seller did say that he was going to have tags on every orchid that's in there. Now, I don't know which side is up because this is the right side up, but the label is actually on the bottom. So I don't know if he packaged it upside down. So I think since the label is on this side, I'm going to start from this side and hopefully the orchids aren't upside down in here so this shipped on Wednesday Parker and sorry my dog just knocked over one of my pots um, so it's kind of tilted sideways right now. But anyway, so this shipped on Wednesday, and like I said, it arrived yesterday. Um, it's two-day priority, so it was just, yeah, two days. And I see some loose soil, so I'm not sure if it's actually upside down or not. Okay, there's sideways, and it looks like it's going to be this way. Okay. okay, so this first one, hold on, the roots are all tangled. Okay, let me just scoot this over. So this first one looks like a Cattleya. It is called in... RLC Monta Tip Gold. Um, since I'm just now unboxing it, I don't know what the flowers are supposed to look like. These, this orchid looks really dehydrated, so um, I'm going to have to soak them in water after this. Even the roots are super dehydrated. Let me just see what the inside looks like. I think what I'll do is, because I am waiting on another package, another um, orchid to come in the mail, um, it looks like there's some charcoal in there, I will insert pictures of what these flowers are supposed to look like, 
um, on the next video, on the next unboxing. So yeah, I think this is just going to need a lot of water for now, um, just because it's severely dehydrated. Um, but I think it should be okay. So yeah, this is the first one. This next one actually had the bloom, but it looks like it didn't make it. So these orchids are coming from Louisiana. So I'm assuming it's a bit more humid over there than it is here in Arizona. So this is a dendrobium. Peng Seng, and it's a cross between a Toboense, um, Toboense and Cruentum. And it looks like, oops, I'm sorry, I wasn't even focused on the plant. Um, so it looks like it was a yellow bloom with like a orange lip. Oh, that's really cute. It's kind of fussy, that lip. Let's see if you guys see that. But it looks like it's drying out, so I don't know how long it's been in bloom. So it's probably just going to fall off. This dendrobium looks dehydrated as well. Um, the pseudobulb feels kind of soft. So I'm just going to soak this in water too. Uh, it's just an orchid bark. The roots... Hold on. Sorry, I had to pause the video because one of my dogs... Um, found a leka on the floor and was trying to eat it. But anyway, um, the roots look really dry as well. So it looks like the orchids weren't watered before it was shipped and it just got super dry in shipping. Hopefully they'll be okay. I'm just looking to see if there are bugs or pests which doesn't look like it. Alright, so that's the next one. There should be two more in here. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, you see how this thing is packaged? It looks like a lot of the leaves turned yellow. I don't know if he shipped it that way. Hopefully not. Maybe it just turned yellow in shipment. Uh, let me take it out of the plastic. The tag is inside. I do see a couple of spikes and some buds on it, but I don't know if they're gonna blast just because the orchid does look stressed out. So, so far I'm not actually very happy with how this is looking just because the orchids seem very dry and like I said, this one is yellow. Let's see how so many of the leaves have turned yellow. Um, so I'm just going to pull all those leaves off. They, they're, yeah, they've been dried out and yellowed for a long time, it seems like, because they just come right off. Um, and you can see, this actually has quite a lot of... Um, spikes. So there are these ones and they're all coming out of the nodes and then this one. This one is a really chunky like stem pseudobulb. Let's see, where's the tag? Um, so there's that. I'm assuming it's a dendrobium is the D. So it's another dendrobium. It's called Love Memory Fizz. And like I said, um, later on when I do the next unboxing, I'll insert, well, actually, 
I'll just insert pictures of the what the flowers are supposed to look like when I edit this video. Um, let me just look at what the medium looks like because it's all covered in paper. Um, this new growth here looks pretty healthy. And it's just an orchid bark and there's some moss growing on it. I've ordered from this um, shop before and I got the, which one did I order from here? The big dendrobium that I had before that had died was from here. The one that was, um, that I had mentioned in my orchid collection was severely root bound. Um, and I don't remember which other one came from this shop. Okay, so this looks to be, aside from the yellow leaves, I see this um, leaf right here at the top is already falling off. It's, yeah, there you go. And then there's one here at the bottom that's also turning yellow, but it's not coming off easily. So I'm just going to wait until that one falls off. And then there are some new roots growing right here. So I think this is going to bounce back easily despite all the yellow roots and the dry, I mean, so the yellow leaves and the dry roots. Um, I'm just going to have to water it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. We call it Pathiopedalum for one of them, or even like a... Uh, a rare Phalaenopsis or a Vanda, but I got two Cattleyas and two Dendrobiums instead. So I was hoping for more of a variety since I'm getting four mystery ones, but it's okay. So there's this. This one looks really healthy. The pseudo bulb isn't wrinkled at all, so it's not dehydrated. So that looks good. So this is a, a Cattleya Nacorn Chaisri Delight, and I can't read that. I do believe that this is on my wish list um, from that shop, on my Etsy wish list. So that's really cool that I actually got that because I do remember that name. That name is very familiar. So that's nice. I got one of my fish list orchids. Um, and I will post a picture of what the bloom on this looks like. Let me just get this paper off of the top. I just want to see what the medium looks like. I think he grows a lot of his orchids outside and with the Louisiana humidity, I'm assuming that's why um, the medium has a lot of moss. And the previous orchids that I got from there were the same way, like there's just moss all over the medium. So there is that. And this one has a lot of roots and it's all just coiled in there. Um, it looks like it's pretty stuck in there, so I'm not going to attempt to pull the orchid out. But yeah, this one is pretty healthy. It feels a little moist in there, but I think I'll still just run water through it just to, um, you know, de rehydrate it a bit more. So, yeah, I kind of, I can't wait to actually see what the other dendrobium, the one with the spikes, um, what the blooms are going to look like if the spikes do open. I just, it's interesting how many buds it has. Um, let me put this box down and you can see all the orchids a lot better. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it looks like the flowers would be yellow. I hope that the buds don't blast. Oh, there goes one of the orchids. Hold on. Okay. And I really need to put this one in water soon. So, 
this isn't a scale. It looks like it's just damage. It looks like a hole. Um, and the good thing is I don't see any pests on any of them. Um, yeah, and here's the other dendrobium. That's kind of sad that the bloom is on its way out. It would have been a cute one. And then, lastly, here's the other Cattleya. So it's going to be a challenge for me because the one Cattleya that I have right now, before, before these two, um, I am not really doing too well with. <laughs> I think I'm just overwatering it. So maybe I'll have more practice with these. So there you have it, the four orchids that this is really top heavy that's why it keeps falling over um the four orchids from my mystery box and i i'm not sure like i said i don't know how i feel about it yet just because three out of the four are kind of dehydrated and i didn't really get a good variety with the four um but, I mean, they are still orchids, and I am obsessed with orchids right now, so there's that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, like I said, I do have one more package coming. Um, that should be either Monday or Tuesday. Um, and I'll do another, that would be the last um, orchid unboxing for me, for now. Hey, plant friends. I am back again with the last of... Um, my orchid unboxing. This is the very last orchid that I ordered um, the past week and a half, I think it was. Um, and it just came today. And so I just wanted to unbox this one with you. So this is the last of the collective orchid haul for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So I ordered this from another Etsy shop and I actually ordered this a while back. I think it was the 6th of October and it just got today because she said she had held on to it for a little bit because they had a freeze period in South Carolina. Um, so she didn't want to ship all the plants out yet. Uh, she had waited until this past weekend when the freeze period was over. Um, and it just got today. So I think she said it shipped finally on, can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday. And it came today, Monday the 24th. So, there's just some newspaper. Okay. So this is the Phragmopedium that I had ordered, and oops, I'm sorry, it's like super zoomed in onto my arm there. <laughs> and I don't believe this is in bloom, um, at least not according to um, the picture. Yeah, so it's not in bloom. But I will insert a picture of what my my dog is going crazy, tearing up the newspaper over there, if you can see. <laughs> um, it's a little bit limp. I will insert a picture of what the bloom is supposed to look like. So let me just get rid of all these uh, fillers, and I can show you the whole plant. This box down there and so it's the Phragmopedium gigantium um, it's a cross between the Cadatum and the Grande Vista so it looks like it needs some water um, the leaves do feel very limp so I'll soak it tonight well not soak it but you know just 
wet the medium completely and hopefully by tomorrow it'll perk back up. Uh, this leaf right here looks like it got bent but it should be okay. It's not ripped completely. Um, overall it does look pretty healthy. Uh, ooh, look at those roots. Let's see if I could get this tape off. So, Paphiopedalums and Phragmopediums are very similar. And their roots, like I mentioned in my orchid collection, are like this fuzzy brown. And these look, this looks like it has some really healthy roots right there. That's exciting. Look at those. They're so cute. <laughs> and yeah. So that's the last of my orchid unboxing. And I can't wait to see all of them bloom someday. I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Um, let me know in the comments um, which of these orchids you would want. If you collect orchids, you would want in your collection. Um, just for the way that the flowers look. Um, and if you have any of the types of orchids that I ordered. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.